Well, a whopping great big thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers in 2019, Atlas VPN was created to make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. Currently, it has more than 6 million users worldwide. And right now, there's a Black Friday deal. You can get Atlas VPN Premium for just $1.70 per month, six months extra with a 30 day money back guarantee. It's the best Atlas VPN offer of the year. Get your deal by clicking the link below this video. Atlas VPN stops ads and malware. It's more than just a VPN. It blocks all malicious links, ads and trackers and notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. Atlas VPN Premium for just $1.70 per month, six months extra, 30 day money back guarantee. Be quick, get your deal, check out the link below. Well look, I've previously reported when it comes to the civil service establishment blob, some pretty uh, outrageous briefing against Pretty Patel when she was Home Secretary. And there seems to have been uproar from some in the civil service. Uh, new Home Secretary, Suella Braidman's aim to stop the boats, uh, stop illegal migration. And of course, when it comes to reform of the civil service, we saw Jacob Rees-Mogg really take the lead uh, under the Johnson government. Of course, he uh, talked about needing civil servants to return to the office, uh, leaving that note, of course, saying he was looking forward to seeing people in the office. And there was that aim that was set out uh, to cut... 91,000 civil service jobs, that the civil service had become swollen during uh, COVID and that Mog was now going to uh, push cuts forward to do things more effectively. Now, just to look in terms of the numbers of the civil service, as you see there, 475,000 uh, civil servants as of December 2021, compared to 384,000 in 2016, a rise of 91,000. Uh, so Mog at the time spoke about going back to the levels we had at 2016, not a matter of doing less, it's doing things more efficiently. Part of this, for instance, was gonna be the cabinet office losing 25% of the staff over three years as part of that uh, push to cut uh, 91,000 jobs. Now, since then, of course, Rishi Sunak uh, the new Prime Minister, and it seems Sunak abandoning uh, this MOG drive to cut the size of the civil service. It seems now that plans to cut those civil service jobs over a number of years have now been axed. That target to reduce the civil service by 91,000 now appears to have gone. And I want to know from you in the comments below, do you think that's a positive move or do you think this is a bad mistake uh, from the Sunak government? Quite a fundamental and, and big change, I would say, from with the Sunak government, from the Johnson government, with Mog leading that drive. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.